Kate the Nail Engineer and um, today's video is a Kate Moss happy birthday video. Um, I'm actually uh, filming this on Kate Moss's birthday which is the 16th of um, January and I have been inspired to do um, a birthday money in her favourite colour green um, by the wonderful work of um, Kitchart, who is an Instagram um, artist, collage artist that I follow. And she makes these really, really cool images, um, which you'll have seen on the intro. Um, and I thought it would be really nice to combine a couple of new colors that I've got with this image. So um, on this hand, I'll go through the nails one by one. So we've got Kate there on the thumb and that's the decal and I have made these decals myself using decal paper and I'll put a link down in the box below. Um, I've reversed the image as well so that it'll be the opposite way on each thumb um, and all fingers apart from my ring finger are painted in the gel bottle ink, this sagey green colour V89 and the other colour that I'm using which is on my ring finger here is a new one that I got for Christmas by Madame Glam and it's not you, it's me. Um, I've got a little bit of glitter here you can see as well and that is Magpie um, Metallic Dust in Olive which I bought as part of a set I think. This is the one where I'm going to be pressing in my glitter to the tacky layer so that's why I've left it um, otherwise I've got two coats on the other fingers and three coats of it's not you it's me because it's um, very glittery but it's a bit sheer um, as with some of the Madame Glam glitters um, so I had to wear three coats of that and all of these are top coated and wiped. Before we go on to the painting though, um, if you've seen my Pulp Fiction money video um, you'll know that when you're putting a decal that's on transparent paper um, over a colour that you need to prep it. Now I'm going to be fine with these because these are green but um, I don't want Kate to end up looking like a Martian so what I'm going to do is get my Esmeralda's de Kelly uh, stamping polish just because it's highly pigmented and it's flesh coloured um, and that's a Doggito and I'm going to use a brush just to basically paint over her face. So on my pointer finger, I'm just gonna apply um, one coat of this gel bottle. Um, and there will be um, two coats going on, but I'm sure that you've seen nails being painted like a million times. And I just want to show you how thick and opaque this stuff is. And pretty much you could get away with like one coat it is that opaque um, but I have quite uh, white tips so and these are my natural nails if you've watched my other videos before you'll know I just wear a base of the gel bottle ink uh, builder in a bottle and the one that I'm currently wearing is um, builder 17 I believe I will confirm or deny that in the box below but there it is that's just one coat and it goes on actually quite thick quite thick indeed so um, I'll put my second coat on anyway and um, then we'll come back for the glittering so I've got my uh, two coats of V89 on my pointer and I've left it with the tacky layer so that we can uh, press in some glitter and I'll be doing that using my filthy but a little bit tatty filbert brush um, and I, I don't have a takeaway menu today I have a shiny instruction manual and um, I'm quite amused by step three insert the tip step five enjoy the product hmm. anyhow so we just get a generous amount on the brush let's do it this way as well so I'm not getting it all over my hand so you just dip in load up I want to be quite generous with this because I want more than just like a kind of like mermaid coverage these dusts are really really nice for doing kind of like mermaid effect nails 
I've got all of the Too Faced collection. I've got Connie, I've got Rita, I've got Sky, I've got Nora, I've got Fern. Oh, I think I've got all of them. And they're just a dream to apply. They go on really, really nice and just a little sparing amount is really good for like a, a subtle mermaid look or you can really kind of build it up like this but in a nice thick layer to get kind of maximum impact and you can see there that it really kind of pops once you put your top coat on so for the stamping um it's real simple i'm only using two designs this mondo dunas um star nails 51 um, this image here of the leaves um, and I was really excited to get these plates um, thinking that they would be actually bigger than they are and they're not um, so yeah that that will fit on my little finger yay and um, thankfully a lot of the designs on here are a bit kind of like peekaboo so you could get away with like putting them in the side or the corners um, but yeah, I, I don't think that I would buy this plate again, even though it's got some really good designs on it, just because the designs are for um, children, children fingers. Um, the other design that I'm going to be using is this one here, which again is Mondo Dunas, and it's their Aloha plate. And as you can see, we've got these kind of peeking in from the corners on the sweary nail. and. I don't know if you can probably just about make that up on camera see the green now for this I'm using two colors I'm using um, Mo you focus hello thank you um, I'm using Mo you London in ginger rust and that's like a, a duo chrome it's got a greenish tinge to it and I'm using nails ink um, in Motcom Street and actually i am mixing these two together for the green because they didn't have the perfect kind of green i do have a real nice green um this model's own um chameleon i think it's called yep but it's just that little bit too pale so i will be using um three drops of the um Mo you London to one drop of the nails ink. Give it a good old mix up. And as you can see, I've tried quite a few different color combinations to get the right kind of, of green for this money. I wanted something that would kind of coordinate nicely with the existing colors and show up over the gold, which is no mean feat. So I'm just going to dab that on. And there you can see it picks up pretty good. And this is just going to go on the outer corner, outer bottom, and inner top corner. So let's get this the right way around. And apologies if I can see this and you can't, but that's just tough tits because I need to see it more than you do. There, now you can see it. Yay, pretty. And let's do the other ones, which are much easier because there's no mixing of polish involved. Plus, um, this Moyu polish is quite good for stamping, possibly because it's actual stamping polish. And any little excess pieces you can pick off with your orange stick as usual or you can use a lint roller so there's my inner corner um, last bit of stamping that we've to do before we move on to the day count is the pinky this one here and 
I'm just going to try and get that um, straight edge of the palm tree on the end of my finger so that I don't have any like sudden end um, because there's like a natural end to the design at the top half but not at the bottom half so um, there we go you can see it there if it would kindly focus so it's only just big enough for my pinkies and yeah I have got fairly large nails um, but they're not that gigantic so um, yeah make bigger images please so my other nails are all queued up and um, Kate's face is dry so I can be placing the decal on the nail and I'm just looking for like a rough position at the moment and I'm doing the hack application method so that you don't have to um, get your like, decal fully submerged so just really really get your brush nice and wet hold the decal in place it's a rather large one like this and you're just going to be pushing down on the back of the decal until you feel that telltale slide now be very very careful at this stage because decal is quite a fragile thing I'm just wanting her in kind of roughly the same position as on my other nail and if you've got any little overhangs you can just kind of trim them off or file them off if you don't have um, like I had the problem with my other hand that I didn't have left handed scissors and um, yeah I, I think now that I may well be getting myself some um, because that was a bit awkward I had to file it off sorry I'm going off camera a little bit there I'm just trimming that day cow down a little bit if you can see actually let's bring my uh, camera a bit nearer sorry if that affects the lighting um, and then we're just going to use this sponge to basically draw out both the bubbles and the moisture from the day cow until it's nice and smooth and don't worry if it's not perfectly in place you can kind of push it down a little and shift it around a little bit so anyway I'm just going to uh, finish this off camera and then what I'll be applying to keep it securely in place is the gel bottle ink rubber top coat so we've got both hands cured up now um, and we're all done with our gold and green glittery Kate Moss birthday tribute extravaganza. Um, I hope you enjoyed this look and thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>